The Kansas City Chiefs are one of the best teams in football, but they do have a problem at the wide receiver position. Despite putting up multiple 40-point games this season, Juju Smith-Schuster is the only Chiefs player with more than 200 receiving yards, and only two of Mahomes' 11 touchdown passes have been caught by receivers. The team's general manager, Brett Veach, did invest into the group this offseason, but nothing has clicked, at least yet. And of course, there is the argument that they're gaining chemistry and by late in the season, the receivers will be on a different level. And I do understand that and it could be true, it could not. But it is clear to me that the Chiefs do not have a closing wide receiver. And once they do get into these highly contested games later on in the season, they're going to need more at the position. You can't just be relying on tight ends and running backs and Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid. You're going to need wide receivers out there on the field. Because really your argument is that Patrick Mahomes, the offensive line, everything else besides the receivers is good enough to get by. But hey, if you're the Kansas City Chiefs, if you're a fan of the Chiefs, why not try to make this roster the best possible? I really don't see an argument to why anyone would not want Odell. I get an argument to why the Chiefs don't need him and I really don't think they need Odell. But also they said the same thing about the Rams. And speaking of Odell with the Rams, he started seven games for them in 2021. 27 passes, right? Caught for 305 yards and five touchdowns. He played three playoff games leading up to the Super Bowl. He was targeted 23 times. He caught 19 of them for 236 yards and a touchdown. Before that ACL tear early on in the Super Bowl, Beckham had a pair of catches for 52 yards and a touchdown. From a talent standpoint, he is definitely still a good receiver. I don't believe he's a wide receiver one, but he is a huge upgrade over MBS and over Juju. I mean, Odell even last season proved way more than Juju and MBS have. Juju did have that one good season in what, 2019? But other than that, he hasn't really shown us anything. He's dealt with injuries and MVS, he came over from the Packers and I covered the Packers and MVS just really has never been that guy. I know Mahomes did miss him on a deep ball back in the Indianapolis game, but really, I mean, MVS is like an, a decent receiver. I do think Odell from a talent standpoint would be fantastic for the Chiefs, especially as a closer, but there are concerns with Odell. He's now dealt with multiple serious knee injuries. He's gonna be 30 in November. And probably the biggest question mark for this is that he has to learn the playbook for the Chiefs. Not that I know too much or actually anything about the Chiefs playbook, but I do know that it is complex. And even for a veteran like Odell, who's been in the league forever now, he's gonna to have to come in and he's gonna to have to know the playbook or he's not gonna be out there on the field. That's why you see some players sometimes for the Chiefs get eased in and when Odell went to the Rams, it was a lot easier for him to get adjusted to that scheme. Is Odell gonna be able to come in and learn the playbook enough to be able to get him on the field right away? Because the Chiefs are gonna need him immediately. I mean, this isn't like, oh, we'll bring in Odell, hopefully he's ready to go for the playoffs. I mean, the Chiefs are gonna need him right now. They're trying to win a Super Bowl. They're trying to get home field advantage. I mean, the number one important thing for the Chiefs is winning the AFC because they wanna play throughout the playoffs up into the Super Bowl in Arrowhead. If the Chiefs have home field advantage, there's no doubt in my mind that they will be going back to the Super Bowl. And I want to say the past, what, four pl playoff games have been in Arrowhead, right? So AFC championships. I mean, the Chiefs have just been dominant since Mahomes took over as the starter in 2018. And that's why I believe they should go out and get Odell Beckham Jr. He'd be great for this team. He had them on his list back in, speaking of, what was it, November? when Odell would he'd end up signing with the Rams. I mean, he had the Chiefs on his list. He's been linked to the Chiefs this season. I believe he listed five teams and the Chiefs were one of them. He'd be great with Mahomes. He'd be great with Andy Reid. Once he learns the scheme, he's only going to make other players around him better as well. I think this is an unpopular opinion, honestly. You're not unpopular, but it's certainly something that needs to be talked about is that the GM, right? Brett Veach, he invested in the receivers. So you bring in Odell, he's not hurting the opportunities for those guys. He's actually going to make them better. He's also going to open up the run game because 
defenses are going to have to count for Odell, and they're not, they're going to have to know the coverage, and it's going to lead to just overall a more efficient offense. I mean, adding in a playmaker is absolutely essential in the NFL today, and I keep looking at the Buffalo Bills and seeing how many weapons they have. They've got Stephon Diggs. They've got Gabriel Davis. They've got Dawson Knox and Isaiah McKenzie. They also signed, I want to say, that former Jets receiver, Jamison Crowder. Or Jameson? It's not Jameson Crowder. That's a basketball guy. Crowder. Let's call him Crowder. I honestly can't even remember his name, but the Chiefs, they went out there and they got some weapons of their own. It hasn't clicked through four games. It's a, it's a long season for me to sit up here and say after four weeks that the Chiefs receivers are doomed and they're not talented isn't exactly true. But at the same time, I am going off of, off of from what I've seen, and that has not been much. I mean, they only have one receiver over 200 yards, and it's been four weeks. I mean, McCall Hardman has 71 yards. Guys, it's nearly a quarter of the season. McCall Hardman has 71 yards. MVS is tied with Clyde Edwards-Alaire for third on the team in receptions. The Chiefs have put up multiple 40-point games. They did it on the Bucks. They did it on the Cardinals. And you're telling me that they can get better? They've got to do it. They've got to seize this opportunity. That's going to be the video, guys. I do appreciate you for watching to the end. My name's Swaggy, and I cover the Chiefs about three to four times per week here. So if that is your type of content, you've come to the right place. Make sure you smash the like button if you haven't. It makes a big difference. Subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any of my daily uploads. Keep those notifications on, man, so when I upload a Chiefs video or an NFL video, you don't miss out on it. And make sure you let me know down below your thoughts on bringing in Odell Beckham Jr. Now, I will say there's no wrong answer. If you don't want Odell, I don't believe you're wrong. I'd love to know why you believe that, and I'm not going to argue about it. I just genuinely want to know both sides of this. But I am saying that I get Odell will be 30 in November. I get that he's got those knee injuries. But last season, what he brought to the Rams was absolutely special. If Odell did not go to the Rams, they wouldn't have won the Super Bowl. I guess he got injured, so maybe... You, well, they wouldn't have... Yeah, they definitely wouldn't have gone to the Super Bowl. I mean, Odell was huge. The NFL is all about playmakers. You can tell me that the Chiefs have Mahomes and Andy Reid, but at the end of the day, I mean, Andy Reid is not on the football field, right? So when these games get more high leverage and it comes down to the players, do you trust Juju Smith-Schuster? Do you trust MBS? Do you trust these two? Like, Sky Moore is good, but he's a rookie, and... We'll see what he does later on in the season, but and of course they've got Watson as well who they brought in. He's kind of bounced around the league. The tight ends are great. The Chiefs have multiple two, three tight ends that are talented. They've got a lot to work with there. But when two of Mahomes' eleven touchdown passes have been caught by tight ends or running or excuse me, nine of the eleven touchdown passes that Mahomes has thrown have been caught by running backs or tight ends. To me, that is just completely unacceptable. And it's clear that the receivers really haven't really lived up to expectations. There might be a chemistry issue, a playbook thing, but I just, I think it's talent. I mean, MVS and Juju have really never been that guy or those guys. So you, you can bring in Odell Beckham Jr. And he's not even gonna cost that much, a couple million. It's more about who gives him the best chance to win. And honestly, I'm not a Chiefs fan. I'm just saying this is a fan of football. Odell going to the Chiefs provides him with two things. One, which is the most important to him, winning. He wants to win another Super Bowl. Because, you know, Odell got injured in the Super Bowl. And not saying that I'm taking anything away from it. I don't. I haven't spoken to Odell. But if he does go to the Chiefs, he's got the best chance to win. He also has a huge opportunity because the Chiefs could use another receiver. If he goes over to the Bills, I mean, the Bills could use him. But like I said, they've got McKenzie. They've got Crowder. They've got Davis and Diggs. They've got a lot of talented receivers. So he's going to be competing with them. But if he goes to the Chiefs, I think he'd automatically would walk in as the number one. And I don't mean that he's going to walk into his first game and command 10 plus targets. But as the season goes on, the games get important. Odell Beckham Jr. will be the go-to receiver. He will be the closer. You need a big play in fourth down. I mean, Travis Kelsey is your guy, but if it's a receiver, you're going to Odell. There's no question about it. So it's your boy Swaggy signing out. Have a great day, guys. I'm out.